Hi Virgo and welcome to your mid-March tarot reading. Before we start with your reading, I would like to use the first two minutes of this video to cleanse your space and to prepare the energies for your reading. And I invite you to take a deep breath into your belly, feel the energy moving into your body. And when you breathe out, you breathe out all the tension and negative energies. This is a reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign. So welcome to everybody who has Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign. What are the energies for Virgo for the next four to six weeks? The Eight of Pentacles. I'm using my Magic Soul Tarot today. Ace, uh, Eight of Pentacles, Prince of Cups. Prince of Swords, wow, a lot of movement at the moment, and the Chariot. We have Temperance, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Prince of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. The advice is the Queen of of uh, wands and we do have the ten of wands all right let's have a look so in relation to the wands um i know these are the last cards that i just picked or that just came up here but i do feel it's important for you to to manage your energy so with the ten of wands we have an underlying energy of being exhausted being tired having having taken on too much being overworked um, so and i can see that you are working on something here with the eight of pentacles now you are putting in the time the energy the work in order to develop a situation or in order to achieve a goal so you're very practical about that and i can see this with the queen of pentacles as well this might even refer to a relationship so just because we have the uh pentacles here in the middle and in your energy doesn't mean like it's not connected to a relationship for some of you this is business and work working on something achieving stability achieving finance financial uh, independence for some of you this is referring to working on a relationship however i do feel like you're quite drained and with the queen of wands as the advice it's definitely um, about managing your energy at the moment what you're doing is you're managing your your time your maybe you're managing your money that might be a thing you're managing your work maybe you have a work schedule or you have some sort of plan of how to work on something now especially with uh the near future the king of pentacles being here there's some sort of um, like i said i feel like a long-term goal something that what you want to achieve and either it is connected to achieving stability or to stabilizing securing a situation or an area of your life or it is connected to um 
where you could probably say this is connected to security as well, but to have something that is kind of like a long-term goal. So you could work on a long-term goal. And very soon, I feel like there is a little bit more of a strategy to it. Um, you're improving. So what, what you're doing at the moment is like you're improving your skills. So that might even, like I said, refer to, it might even refer to your personal development, taking really good care about yourself and your needs and what it is in your life that you want to uh, grow. So maybe you're putting in some work connected to your personal development. Um, the issue at the moment with the Prince of Cups is that the Prince of Cups, it could mean that you're working so, in this combination. It could mean that you're working so much that at the moment there is not a lot of fun or a lot of um, joy or maybe you don't have that much time for love at the moment. Uh, because you're working so much maybe this is connected to the love relationship in your life and you're working but it's just not flowing uh, the prince of cups is somebody who's going with the flow so he's really intuitive and things are always flowing with this card but it might be that the flow at the moment is not really there and and what to whatever area of life that refers to and you're not trying to work on it in order to get things moving in order to achieve your happy place to achieve a goal um yeah so and i can see that you're really on the on the move like all of the cards in the present moment are movement 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 here it is a little bit difficult uh with that card so this movement is the the challenge um, so one challenge could also mean that at the moment for you it's difficult to follow your heart or it's difficult for you to uh, follow your intuition uh, in terms of if this refers to you following the heart it might be that you say I can't follow my heart at the moment because there are those practical things that I need to take care of I need to work I can't at the moment do just whatever I like um, because there are literal like practical things and work that needs to be done um, also looking at the prince of swords that's your focus and, and that's a card of focus so you're very driven i feel like there is something you want to achieve there is a goal there is something you're moving towards and you want to do it fast as fast as possible um it might be that it's important to balance those two aspects out that there's this one part that wants to achieve something really fast and the other part um, might go a little bit more with the flow and let things unfold. So um, there could be a little bit of a challenge connected to, I want something really fast and, oh, I know I should go with the flow a little bit more. For some of you, and I need to say this as well, with the Prince of Cups, the Prince of Cups can be a little bit um, emotional immature, which might mean um, that you have some sort of fantasy connected to a situation. So. For some of you, um, there might be a person, maybe it's you and you have unrealistic or very idealistic um, ideas about that situation. Um, so with that card in this position, it always urges you to stay grounded and to look at that matter at hand with a very pragmatic down to earth approach however you are an earth sign and you show up here as a very earthy energy so if you are de so it might more be a person you're dealing with who might have very unrealistic expectations or ideas about a situation um how do you feel i feel like i feel like you feel victorious like you both cards mind and heart i feel like are going in some shape or form in the same direction with whatever you're working on that being said it doesn't mean like uh you're following the heart in terms of um following the heart in terms of oh i'm just gonna do joyful things i'm just gonna meet friends i'm gonna be uh like all loose and have a lot of joy and fun uh, but it might be that whatever because I feel like you are very determined very focused very much like this is where I'm going and I, or this is where I'm taking the situation I'm taking control over this I'm making this happen now that's a very like um, that's really what I'm getting here and um, and this is why I feel like all of your being your mind your heart your, everything is like going in the same direction because that's your priority that's it. So this is your priority. And this is why for some of you, you might not be able to do all the fun things at the moment because you're like, yeah, I can't follow my heart at the moment because 
my whole being is set to achieve this goal, to work towards this, whatever it is you want to achieve, basically. And you're coming out of a quite balanced energy with the temperance card here. So I feel like in the recent past, in the recent past, things either things were quite balanced, harmonious, and maybe that gave you the energy to do what you are doing now. Or in the past, you realized that something in your life is out of balance. And that might be the, the force behind you now being all, all in, basically, with whatever project is at hand or with ever, whatever area or area of your life you want to improve. Um, you might be moving. So in all of that, there might be a move or a journey included in that. Again, manage your time. And manage your energy wisely. I strongly get that here. Yeah, here's a strength card. Yeah, I told you. So yeah, manage your, your strength, manage your energy. Near future, I said already, King of Pentacles. Um, it's about everything that um everything connected to long-term plans. Uh, it's about everything that is connected to either the goals that you have connected to business, finances, your home, maybe your body or your family. So I feel like those goals are going to play an essential role in the near future. Um, it might be that you receive some advice, some advice or solutions. Either you are going to find the solutions, how to move forward now, or you're going to receive important information, like in some sort of important advice here connected A to business and finances, your home life, your family life, or maybe your body. Mm. The Queen of Pentacles tells me that you are taking care of yourself or your finances or your business or your home life. It's like there's a lot of pentacle energy, right? So this is why this is coming up again and again and again. But then we do see the energy of the Eight of Pentacles, which is literally putting in the work. So those two cards, I feel like it's literally your energy um, where you are managing a situation in, or in order to achieve your goal of stability or some other long-term plans. Outside of you, the Three of Cups. Yeah, I said already that I feel like, I mean, I don't feel... I feel like you're, this is the right way around. I don't feel like you take the time to enjoy life at the moment. Um, though there is the Three of Cups in the outside. So there, maybe there's a friend circle. There is kind of like joy outside of you. And the energy I'm getting um, is that people are approaching you uh, for meeting you, etc. But I feel like you're just, no, I need to do this now. I don't have time at the moment. This is what I'm focused on. So three of uh, cups, um, a, a lot of social, it's, it's people where you share beautiful moments with. So it might be even some sort of party or gathering that is happening at the moment or within that time. I just, since the other card that we have here that is um, a cup card is in the block position, you're moving into a cup card, which is great, but I see it more like there's a wish fulfillment because you're achieving something here. So you are going to be very satisfied, very happy, um, very grateful. That's the energy you're moving into. But I feel like this is more connected to, um, to whatever you're doing here. It might be that you are moving into an energy where you are taking care of your emotional well-being. The Nine of Cups could also be, let's say, a spa day or something. So maybe at some point you realize, oh, I, I think I need a time off. I need a spa day or something. And I'm going to do something that's good for my for my soul or my emotional well-being. And that very well might be with uh, friends uh, that are here outside of you. Um, what are your hopes and fears? Absolutely, I feel like this is a hope. Uh, the Prince of Pentacles taking action. So the Prince of Pentacles wants stability. I don't know how often I said this now in this reading, but this is literally coming up again, again, again and again. So you are hoping to build up stability in a certain area of your life or a situation. And you're hoping that things will move forward in the right order so that you can secure yourself. Um, or secure a situation, 
or that you are going to be able to achieve the long-term success, maybe even with the right approach. So there are, if you look at it, if you look at it like that, there are one, two, three different approaches, right? So these three cards talk about taking action. In a way this as well, because you're taking action because you want to develop a situation, you want to push that situation forward or work towards a goal. However, the classic taking action cards are the knights, which are the princes here. Now, at the moment, your approach, I feel like, is being very, very focused, not getting distracted from outside influences. It's just like, this is where I want to go now. Um, the approach at the moment that is not working for you is just like going with the flow. I feel like also like you don't want to do this. You really want to, you want to move forward now. And therefore, you hope that uh, everything is nicely developing in a very... Um, that everything is basically developing nicely towards achieving this goal of stability. So, but again, I also see like you are a bit overburdened here. So just take care of yourself. Say only yes to new things or to, do, to the things that you like to do or that you actually can do. Um, take a time off. I feel like that's important as well because otherwise you're going to exhaust yourself, especially with the queen of uh, ones being the advice here within that situation. So this is your reading for mid-March. I hope you resonate with it. If so, please leave a like, comment or subscribe to the channel and I'm looking forward to do your next reading. Thank you.